codfish collapse. And you know, there you had very good scientists in the government of Canada telling the truth and the government of Canada actually falsifying the figures and you know suppressing the, the information to and the I point that they actually that. drove, oh God, yes. And there was, like, there was a wonderful scientist named Ransom Myers, R.A.M. Myers, who died uh, tragically young um, and uh, you know, had been picked out by people like Time Magazine as one of the hundred people who would really influence the future. Um, and he was working for the government, ultimately quit, went to work at Dalhousie, and he was only one of many. But they would say things like, you know, you cannot issue licenses to fish northern cod at the rate yeah, that you're offering. That's right. In fact, you should put a moratorium on them. And they would say that's absolutely unthinkable. That would put, you know, 40,000 people out of work. So we'll, and the scientists would respond, you'll put them out of work permanently if you don't conserve yeah, the resource, that's right? right? And they, they are out of work permanently. I mean, it happened in the, in the 1990s. Well, exactly, but the politician was thinking of the next election, not, not, not of the yeah. distant yeah. future, and they still are. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's one of the things we're facing with all of this. Now, what would happen if, the, if we did have a flip of the kind you described, and, and uh, if we had a sudden flip to five degrees warmer? Um, yeah, it, three degrees in 20 years is about the maximum rate it's been observed to go up mm -hmm. in the past. Well, that would be pretty bad. It would Tell be would pretty awful. The normal, uh, you know, the, the non-scientific mind says, well, three degrees, I can put the thermostat down a little. Or, you know, I mean, it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's, it is a lot. And I'd like if you could talk a little bit about how that would appear in concrete terms on the, in our lives. Well, when, when you talk about the three degree global rise in temperature, you're talking about an average that will include anything up to 30 degrees rise in places as part of that average. And woe betide you if you happen to live where the 30 degree rise, uh, you're sure as places won't be able to fix it by adjusting the thermostat. Mm. Um, and uh, this is the point. And the land surfaces where people live are far more vulnerable to huge shifts in temperature, as we're seeing at this very moment. Uh, than are the oceans, which are 70% of the Earth's surface, and with a huge heat content, uh, 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 for capacity for storing heat, so they only move a tiny amount in temperature. And if the oceans all go up three degrees, God help us.